We are live. And, uh, yeah, this preview of the Indiana-Iowa game, uh, not as big as it was the start of last week. Because Indiana blows it and lose to Illinois by 20 uh, at Illinois. But Illinois is not that good of a team. And uh, Iowa with Caitlin Clark, the best player in the country. Uh, the only thing going for Indiana really is, is they are undefeated at home. And they got it. They're gonna have to try to keep that record. And uh, so, who knows? It was gonna happen. Uh, last year, Indiana beat Iowa and Caitlin Clark at home. Uh, anything's possible. They played terribly at Illinois, so you would think they surely would have a better game this time. So, if I have to pick a score or who's gonna win, uh. I think you have to slightly favor Iowa, but, man, it should be close. I, I don't think it's going to be a blowout like it was in Iowa. Uh, maybe an overtime. You know, Iowa played the Ohio State to overtime, and the Ohio State beat them there. So, who are you going to favor? Man, I'm going to look like an idiot if I take IU, but I think I'm going to go with IU by one point. I think it'll be that close because Indiana shoots a lot better at home. I mean, they shoot like 60%. Of course, with, with, with Iowa, they could shoot 55, 56, 57, 58%. So you just got to hope being on the road, Iowa does is not as crisp with their shot. Plus, they've had a week off, and that can be good or bad. It could be good to prepare, but it could be bad. The inactivity could be bad. So they could be flat at the start, and if Indiana takes off, if they hit their shots and Iowa misses, they could build a pretty good lead against them. So, and Indiana just played, if you want to call it playing, uh, I think it was Monday. Monday. So, we'll see what happens. It should be a good game. I'm probably going to put it on here on uh, and play it. But, man, I've been nervous, right? And if Indiana gets off to a, a bad start, falls behind, I don't know if I can continue watching it or not. <laughs> It makes me nervous, right? And being that Caitlin Clark, who she is, which can hit it anywhere on the court. I mean, if she wanted to, she could shoot three pointers on the opposite, opposite opposition's three point line, and not her own. So, anyway, it, it's it's not as important as it was prior because Indiana basically now it's pretty much eliminated from winning the league. They won it last year. They're not going to win it this year. They got too many losses. Uh, the best they probably could do would be finish second. Uh, I think Iowa and Ohio State have to play again. So uh, maybe if they, you know, if they still, whatever happens, Ohio State has to lose three times or two times. And then that would, and then Indian has to win out. They'd have to lose three times. And I think Iowa one time. And then it would be a three-way tie for first. But whoever wins the league, I believe, gets the number one seed. There's a good chance of it. So it was all up for grabs. Indiana could have played at home the first two games. So that loss to Illinois cost them a lot more than just a loss. So it was bigger than a regular loss. So anyway, stay tuned. And I'll have, probably have it on. And uh, we'll see what happens. But it should be a good game even if Indiana loses, but I will pick Indiana by one, but I, it's, it's, a, it's an iffy by one. I'm kind of, I'm real nervous about it. And I will, and keep stacking, keep packing because times live in, support your local teams, college, and I will see you later.